happy Stony Sunday World Reefers. This week, I am taking you with me as I check out the Weed and Wedding Expo. They are in San Francisco, California, and I'm so excited to have an excuse to check out this type of an event. The Bud and Breakfast team invited me up to check out this event. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have asked my boyfriend to come to a wedding expo with me, but when you add cannabis, you know I'm there, so I couldn't pass up the invitation. Instead of megaphones advertising free dabs and huge signs telling you where the best strains were gonna be, it was all about cake samples and fabric samples and all of these romantic soft sides to cannabis that I really don't get a chance to look at very often. first cannabis events and some cannabis vendors first wedding events and I just love that crossover of the two communities meeting at the Weed and Wedding Expo and seeing what they can bring to looking brides and grooms to make those wedding events amazing and just over the top with authenticity and actually showing what that couple enjoys in their lives and what they want to share with you, their friends and family as you celebrate with them. Cannabis is so popular. It's helped so many people find health, find happiness, and find new paths in life. It would be impossible to ask them to leave that all at the door when they get married. And right now, we have more weed and wedding businesses than I think there have ever been. From jewelry sparkling and shining with your favorite leaf embellished on top, to even dresses made from hemp silk. These are things I think so many of us have dreamt of incorporating into special days in our lives, and now it's a reality. We have so many options. A lot of what I saw was very traditional in the American wedding style that I've seen growing up, but it had that cannabis edge to it, and that is something I just really, really like. You don't have to have a 100% bluegrass or hippie style wedding to still incorporate cannabis and show your friends and family that it's something that matters to you and your partner, and it's absolutely going to be something you'll be enjoying in your marriage. I haven't been to a lot of weddings at all, but seeing all that you could offer has me thinking for sure. I love the photo booths because I think we're all so caught up in posting pictures on our phone and a lot of them just get erased after 24 hours or we never see them until that Facebook memory pops up and reminds us. It's so nice to actually have a tangible printed version of a photo and a little moment that you remember from that event forever. So getting a chance to experience those photo booths, that was a good sell for me. I really liked that and I definitely took down their cards for whatever event I have come in. Years ago, I felt like I was constantly having to fight the backlash of women don't smoke weed and no one femme likes to smoke weed, no one who wears makeup smokes weed, and to see an event now where there are glamorous booths and there are luxurious items and to see such romance brought into cannabis was just so, so heartwarming and amazing and I really think it goes to show we are such a diverse group of people. We have so many passions and so many different interests and cannabis may unite us in so many different ways, but we can still celebrate and enjoy the other aspects of our lives that are important and that matter to us. I could definitely imagine Mio and I having a weedy wedding. So if this sounds like something that you might wanna go and check out, I have all of the info down below for the Weed and Wedding Expo and for any of the booths that I showed as well. Let me know if you guys enjoy seeing this type of event. It was definitely so cool to get inside and check out something very different than the typical cannabis cup. I'll be back next week and I'll be in Canada. I'll see you soon, Vancouver. Mail order marijuana cup, here I come. Happy Stony Sunday.